Women's tennis looking to get back to the Little East Conference Championship for the first time since 2019. You see some of the players on the bench along with fans. Gina Albano from the women's soccer team in attendance to watch her younger sister Elena Albano play in this one. And in the number two doubles, it was Ira Shake and Yana Semerly taking on Zuri Walters and Claire Yang from UMass Dartmouth. Earlier this year, the Beacons easily dispatched of the Corsairs. 8-1 to one on the road, and now in the Little East Conference semifinals, taking on again at home. Semerlin and Shake would pretty much take care of Walters and Yang without an issue. That set would go down 8-0 to get the Beacons first win of the day. You see Albano and Ayana Stuper here taking on Mackenzie Ferrari and Claire- Caroline Lemieux in the number three doubles. They would also have a pretty easy time taking them down 8 to nothing. You see them sharing some handshakes there. And then right here, you see Albano and Stupert on the winning point right here. They'll go up after that ball is placed out of bounds by Lemieux and Ferrari. Shake hands and the Beacons are up one nothing, just like that. And then like we mentioned earlier, a short while later, Semerly and Shake take care of business against Yang and Walters, 8-0. and oh. On court number one, Lydia Chan and Megan Carney in the number one doubles against Isabella Winter and Allie Riddick. This was a high-energy match going back and forth. The duos would. Chan and Carney with a big point right there, but then Chan unable to finish the job in that set. The Beacons, after trailing 2-0 in that one, would come back to lead 4-3 and then be defeated 8-5. So heading into the singles, the Beacons needing just three wins to move on to the LEC championships. And Ira Shake would be down in the number two singles against Zuri Walters. And she would handle business pretty easily. You see now moving over to Elena Albano in the number four singles. She took on Alana O'Connell in her matchup going back and forth with a lot of long rallies against O'Connell. Albano would find herself up 6-1 after set number one. And moving on over to Ayana Stuper, she was in the number five singles against Allie Riddick. She would easily take care of business against Riddick, as we'll see in a little while, in two straight sets, 6-1, six, 6-1. One, six, one. And Stuper, you see right there, having a nice rally against Riddick to get a point. Albano on the other end again in another nice rally against O'Connell, where she would get the point here to take the lead. She was locked in all day and then back over to Stuper. She was just having herself a day over there on court number five, taking care of business again as this one goes back and forth for a little while. And then Stupert's going to run in and finish the job on a kill before it goes out of bounds right over here, giving her another point in her set match up there. Lydia Chan, just take a listen to the audio. You can see she was fired up in this one. Arshana Godamana on the sideline watching his team get some victories here. As you see Stupert here getting the first win that the Beacons needed in the single 6-1 in 6-1 over Riddick. And then a short while after this, we're going to see Megan Carney and Ira Shake take home their wins as well. It would be Shake first who took hers 6-0, 6-0 over Walters like we mentioned before. As this would be the final point right here as Shake goes back, unloads, and that's it for that one. She takes her shot, and then a short while later, Megan Carney finishes the job against Clara Yang, 6-0, 6-3, and your UMass Boston Beacons are going back to the Lilies Conference Championship to take on Rhode Island College. One, two, 